Oh, here's a classic strawberry shortcake. And <laughs> what do you know? She has a knife in her hair. Hey guys, it's Kayla, and today I'm going to be taking you all back to the early 2000s. A beautiful time to be alive. I am so excited for today's video because we are going to be going through some of my old collections. Now, if you didn't know this about me already, in case you're new to my channel, I have always loved collecting things. So in the past, I've collected a lot of different things. And I actually rediscovered all of these collections last night while I was pulling out Christmas decorations from my basement. So everything I found I have next to me right now. I have a giant white bin and I'm going to show you guys what's inside of that in just a second. I've got a strawberry shortcake suitcase, which you guys might recognize from one of my older videos. We're gonna do a little bit of reminiscing. Without further ado, we are just going to get straight into these collections and I hope that you'll enjoy watching and I also hope that you'll feel nostalgic with me. Okay, so first we have this plastic bag and inside is a giant ball of shaped rubber bands that are also in really pretty fun colors. Ew, there's like hairs. Okay, that's disgusting. Who remembers silly bands? You guys, silly bands were my life when I was a 10 year old. The concept of them is so interesting. We have a penguin and we have like a limousine, I guess. Oh wait, is this a giraffe? But look, once you put them on your wrist, all the magic is gone. Maybe that's just me, but I definitely like them more when they are not on your wrist. Um, comment below guys if you remember collecting these and trading them with your friends. Some of you guys might even be too young to even know what these are. Man, do they bring back memories. But oh my gosh, look. So I just realized that inside this bag, I actually have an unopened pack. And these are Toy Story themed. Oh my gosh, Toy Story 3 themed. That is so crazy. I can remember seeing these packs at five below and literally getting like butterflies in my stomach. Oh my gosh, this just brought back so many memories. I wonder if they still have that smell. Holy crap, they do. Smells like blowing up a beach ball inside of Toys R Us. Like that rubbery plastic brand new toy kind of smell. I miss the simple times. So that was the first collection that I rediscovered. Now we are going to be moving on to uh, this big whopper of a bin. I can't even lift it. <laughs> oh, ow, I think I like broke my knee. Anyway, all right, so guys, inside of this bin, we have what I like to call squishy pencil toppers. Holy moly, you guys, when I say that these were my life from the time I was like 9 to 12 years old, I am not exaggerating in the slightest. In case you don't know what these are, pretty much they are pencil toppers that were sold in little quarter machines at supermarkets. They would come in little capsules like this. Um, this one just so happens to be a special one. It is a colored glow-in-the-dark dolphin, okay? And um, I would literally stand there with like $5 worth of quarters and just get one after the next, after the next, after the next. And sometimes I would even wipe out the entire gumball machine trying to get that one rare one. Like my cousin actually got me hooked on these and once I was addicted, <laughs> there was no turning back. Literally, I had more than what's inside of this bin. And I know that um, some of you guys might not believe that, but at one point I actually probably had this bin times two. Um, I sold a lot of the ones that I used to have and I know I traded them. Like people used to trade these all the time. Oh, look how old this looks. This used to be a panda. I mean, it still is a panda, but it's like a granny panda. It got like a yellow tint to it from being so old. And also, um, it's paint kind of wore off. So that's crazy. Um, oh my gosh, these smell so good. You guys are probably thinking that I'm weird as heck for smelling my collections, but um, they just bring me back in time. I think in this bag is one of each. Yeah, that's definitely what's in here. I think I tried to put most of them in capsules because I always thought they were so satisfying looking when they were in the capsules. They also had like jumbo ones. Like this was a jumbo rare snake. Um, this was a jumbo 
little bird. Oh my gosh, the memories. I even have two unopened Squishland surprise tubes. Oh my goodness. You see, this blue capsule is an ultra rare and then the red one is a rare. I am so tempted to open one of these up. Like, should I? I'm gonna do it. Should I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? We're gonna relive my childhood dreams. So, okay, uh, first, oh, we got a cow. It's so cute. Then, let's see what else we got, guys. We got, whoa, satisfying pop. A little penguin. Look at him. He's so shiny and bright. Oh, and the next one, guys, it's a rare. It's a rare. All right, I'm gonna guess that it's a rare clam or a rare koala. I want you guys to comment below and guess what rare animal you think is inside, okay? Even if you're not familiar with squishies, just guess a random animal and who knows, you might be right. Let's see. Oh, it was a rare squirrel. Oh my goodness. I used to love the squirrel. It was my favorite for the longest time. Now we have a monkey. Oh, he's pretty cute too. Ooh, this is the ultra rare. You guys ready? I bet it's the sheep. Dang it. Oh, even better. It's the uh, ultra rare panda and he's got little Mickey Mouse ears. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but he's adorable. And the last little friend we got is um, a turtle. These bring me back in time. Again, comment below if you remember these things. Let's see if there's anything else interesting in here. Yeah, I mean, pretty much these are all just organized by mania. Like this was the sea mania and there's like crabs and clams and lobsters. I think it's definitely safe to say that my squishy collection was my favorite collection of all. Like even more so than my lip balm collection, my Bath and Body Works collection. This collection just hit different. They were literally the only reason I was popular in fifth grade. Little side story for you. I actually got in big trouble when I was in fifth grade because I was selling these to people and apparently like you're not allowed to do that. I think I still got away with it anyway. I just did it in the more discreet way, but I was pretty much the squishy dealer in fifth grade, so yeah. So now we're going to be moving on to another old collection of mine, Strawberry Shortcake Dolls. Now these are like extra vintage, like the squishies were vintage, but these are like actually vintage because I believe Strawberry Shortcake Dolls started to become a thing like in the late 90s. I, I don't know, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's when they emerged into the world. Oh, this one's really old. I think from now on, anytime I'm sad, I'm just gonna smell this doll's head because it literally put me right back in time. Wow, scent is powerful. Scent is so powerful. It can make you feel all kinds of ways. I'm gonna try to prop this up on my knee so you guys can see what I'm doing and um, it's not so secretive. Oh wait, this isn't a strawberry shortcake doll. I remember where I got this. Oh my gosh, this was a little uh, McDonald's surprise toy and i believe it was from wizard of oz oh here's a classic strawberry shortcake and <laughs> what do you know she has a knife in her hair literally she had a butter knife in her hair cool all right <gasps> we have a naked huckleberry oh my gosh he needs to put some clothes on it's inappropriate for this video i remember always playing dollhouse with them and like the grown-up strawberry shortcake dolls they used to be like the moms, but I always thought that they looked a little too young to be moms. Like they kind of looked like teenagers. I think I just made them young moms though. Oh, I remember she smelled so good. She kind of just smells like the rest of them now. Like they don't have individualized smells anymore. They all just have this like weak, berry, early 2000s happy scent that's the best way i could describe it with like a little bit of attic you know but anyway so that's what was inside of this strawberry shortcake suitcase and oh my gosh wait what is this this thing whatever it is this has to be like from when my grandma was born i don't even think anybody would have played with something this basic when I was a little kid. You know, like toys have really evolved since I was little, but I don't even think like anyone would have played with. I mean, it's literally two pieces of wood. Wow, okay, this must be from like 1904. I don't know where he came from, but um, he's 
pretty legit. So next up, we have a little pouch of bouncy balls, okay? And of course I had to smell them. I, I think I smelled every single thing so far. I actually used to have probably four times the amount that's in here, but I actually remember giving the majority of my collection to my little cousin Hayden. I always really liked the clear ones and also the multicolored ones. There was one in particular I always wanted to get. It was like a clear one with stars in the middle. I still remember the very first bouncy ball I ever got. It was a little miniature basketball looking one. And then I thought, oh, how cool would it be to have like a bunch of these? And then, you know, I went to the quarter machine, got four more than I, I had five total. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I need more. Like <laughs> my brain was never satisfied with just like a little amount of anything. I always had to like go to the extreme. That's my little bouncy ball collection though. I don't really have too much to say about it. Um, it's probably the least interesting collection out of everything here. Anyways, we actually just have one more thing to go through and they are inside of this bin. Ew, I just realized how nasty uh, the top of this is. Look at it. It's so dirty and dusty. Oh, I'm probably going to be like sneezing now because it's so gross. So in this bin, I had squinkies. I collected them. And um, we're going to get to those in a second. But first we have like all kinds of other stuff on top. These are actually um, squishy displays. Like... Uh, if you guys remember squishies, then you would know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you don't remember them, pretty much uh, these were the display cards that would be inside of the gumball machines to kind of show off like the possibilities of what you could get. Um, I'll bet this is worth something. Honestly, you can tell how old it is just by how it turned yellow. Oh my gosh, I remember finding these on eBay and I was literally the happiest person ever. Like you have the jungle mania, the colored glow in the darks, um, sea mania, forest mania. Oh my gosh, the feeling of whenever this company would come out with a new collection, I cannot even describe it. Like it was the best feeling ever. In fact, I remember actually calling Squishland, like the headquarters. I would literally call every week and be like, Hi, I was wondering when the next available Squishland Mania would be out. I actually wrote down exactly what I was going to say because I would get so nervous to talk to them. Anyway, so we've got lots and lots of display cards. And then, okay, now we're getting somewhere. We have two unopened packs of Squinkies. These are Hello Kitty themed. And then these are just like the basic ones. Now, for the longest time, I would not collect squinkies because um as you guys know i used to collect these squishies and i was really mad because i said squinkies copied off of squishies and all my friends started to collect squinkies and i always secretly kind of wanted some but i was just so stubborn because i was like no i know they copied the idea of them because look guys they also came in their own little capsules just like squishies and the names were so similar oh anyway eventually i gave in and i collected squinkies too they were pretty similar to squishies except they were more detail oriented they did not come from gumball machines and um you could get like people ones too not just animals so they were just a little bit more complex than squishies i feel like i'm giving you guys like an educational course on um vintage collectibles just look how fun they are one more thing i want to add i specifically remember people making videos squishies versus squinkies like it was such a big deal like which one is better we weren't messing around so anyways you guys that was all for today's video of me going through all of my vintage collections if you like this video then please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and the question of the day is did you collect any of the things that i showed you in today's video and if so let me know which thing you collected this video was so much fun to film and i'm really happy that i did it because now i just feel all warm inside and i kind of want it to be like 2010 again I'm not even gonna lie but anyways i love you all so so much thank you again for watching and also if you are not already subscribed please make sure you click subscribe and turn on post notifications that way you never miss another video from me and um if you do it i will grant you some good luck for the whole entire month of November. But I love you all and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye! Mwah.